Hey everybody, this is Jason, the Meandering Newfoundlander. And welcome to my third week of ketamine treatment. The first week was pretty uh, rough. second week was manageable. So let's hope that this third week coming up will be a bit more, uh, um, I don't know, where I'm looking for it to be. I'd like to be able to function again. That's basically my goal. And just to get out, be able to start enjoying myself. In other words, my idea of enjoying myself is going to the beach, going on hikes, getting out in nature, that kind of thing. And that's, uh, that's what I'm missing right now, and that's what I need. So hopefully this third week will be just what I need to put me over that edge to, uh, to keep being more healthy, I guess, with my, with my choices. So thanks for sticking around this long. We'll see how this week goes. Well, this afternoon I decided to go for a walk and uh, usually my walks are enjoyable. I get something out of them. When I'm done, I usually feel refreshed, clear headed, at least uh, that's the norm. But uh, today, no, it was, uh, it was a very agitating walk and everything annoyed me about it. Like every step, every time the dog pulled on the leash, every time the duck would would uh, quack or even like a vehicle driving by just making noises everything was just stimulating today and it was getting right to me and just very agitated and irritated and just can't shake it and i don't know maybe it's because i didn't sleep as well last night that could be part of the problem but uh either way yeah today is not as good as what it was this morning or yesterday so uh I'm definitely not cured. It's uh, still uh, still a lot to get through yet. I feel like all I've been doing the last week is dropping vehicles off to car dealerships to get work done on them. Last week I had to bring my Sportage in, I had to bring my son's car in, today I got to bring my Sorento in and uh, cost me a fortune, especially uh, my son's car. Yeah, that's going to be quite the uh, quite the bill when it's uh, when it's done. But anyway, I'm sick of appointments. Did I mention that already? Well, so far today, it's been crappy. I've been very angry, agitated, anxiety is up. And uh, there's not a lot I'm doing that, or not a lot I can do to, uh, to bring it down, because usually I medicate. But of course, I got stupid appointments, and therefore I can't medicate, because that would leave me impaired for driving. Yeah. And all of that is becoming very frustrating because I know during the ketamine treatment I'm supposed to be out doing things that are going to help ensure that the ketamine has the desired effect. Like yesterday I went to Middle Cove Beach, for example. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, things like that. But I'm also somebody who, if I have an appointment on a day, I can't do anything else because I got that appointment to focus on and dwell on and stew over and have all this crazy anticipatory anxiety over and that's just the way my brain functions right now and it's uh, driving me nuts because today for example I had to drop my vehicle off to the Kia dealership and of course doing that that means I got to wait around for the call back so I can go pick up my vehicle tomorrow I got ketamine treatment so I can't do anything else because I got that. Wednesday, I have a psychologist appointment and a psychiatrist appointment. Therefore, I can't do anything that day. Thursday, I got my ketamine treatment again. So right now, I'm looking at Friday before I can do anything. And even then, it probably won't happen because my wife is coming back Thursday night. And, and 
I'm going to want to spend time with her, obviously. So that's it's frustrating as heck because I know what I need to be doing. I just mentally and physically just cannot. And uh, I feel I'm worried that it's going to be detrimental to any progress that I'm possibly, or I could possibly make with the ketamine. So yeah, those are the things that I dwell on and stew on all the time. Well, I think I had enough of this day. I am going upstairs and I'm going to lay down and just lay there. Let the night take me. See how that goes. See you in the morning. Good morning again. I made it through another night. My quality of sleep was okay. It was better than the night before, but still it's uh, still missing something because I'm always waking up fatigued this morning it took forever to crawl out of the bed but I managed to get out and get my day going now I'm not really sure if this is because of the lack of sleep or the quality of sleep but I'm feeling pretty down today and uh, it could be the sleep it could be some medication changes it could be just uh, just the way life is right now. I'm not sure, but either way, that's uh, that's where I'm at. And also, it could be the depression. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> You'd think that would be where my first uh, thought would go. I mean, if I was sitting here with a broken leg wondering why I can't walk, I wouldn't be trying to figure out, okay, what's wrong with my arms or what's wrong with my hips or anything like that. It would be yeah that's the broken leg that's causing this issue so maybe it's the depression and I'm starting to uh, to accept that I don't know but the uh, depression is a bit much this morning because I even I had it in my mind that's it I'm done making these videos they're stupid they're silly they're irrelevant nobody's gonna watch them nobody's really gonna care about me this lone youtuber and my experiences during the week after taking ketamine. It's, uh, it's, as I reflect on it, it sounds more and more silly and I don't know what it is, but the fact remains, I'm recording right now, so I got through that moment because I honestly think that the benefits of me documenting this outweigh any of the uh, disappointments from doing it. I think for this week's ketamine diaries, I'm gonna use my actual camera. This will give me an excuse to take it out and use it and get familiar with it because there's a lot I don't know about it. So maybe now is a good time to practice. Uh, I won't be taking it out in public too much because it's a little bigger and more bulky than my phone. So, goodbye phone. Hi, uh, can I reserve a cab for uh, 1 p.m. at what, 47 Birmingham Street, please? Uh, yes, 47 Birmingham. All right, thank you. Since I'm going into my uh, ketamine treatment in a few minutes, I gotta get my 
headphones cleaned. For some reason when they go inside my case they keep reconnecting to my phone. And that's annoying because I don't want them connected to my phone all the time. I just want them connected when I want them connected, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, cleaning time. This is something you're supposed to do with your earbuds every week, by the way, in case you didn't know. Right, is there. You're probably sick of me saying this is uh, the first dose is done. One in each nostril. Time for the second one in about five minutes. Number two is finished. Now it's time for Tic Tacs. Well, that fifth one wasn't too bad. It didn't, uh, I kind of didn't hit me as hard as the other ones. I don't know, maybe my body's adapting to it. I can't help but wonder if maybe my dosage is too low. I think I might need to have it increased. So that session, when I uh, went in, I get my first two sprays in the nose and what happens is you can feel this sensation gradually build and build and build. The first time I ended up disassociating slightly, but the last couple of times I haven't and apparently you're supposed to disassociate while doing ketamine treatment and that's why I'm thinking that the dose might be a little too low for me. And just looking back over the summer, I tried mushrooms a couple times, not to go out and just to get wrecked off mushrooms or anything. I'm interested in the therapeutic benefits of it. And I decided to try mushrooms a couple of times over the summer and, and it wouldn't work. It was uh, my medications were blocking them or maybe it was just, uh, I don't know, me, I don't know. And I'm wondering if that has anything to do with what's happening to me right now with the ketamine. I guess I'll leave that to the psychiatrist to uh, deal with since I have an appointment with him before my next, the, uh, before my next uh, ketamine treatment. So for now, what I'm going to do, it's a very challenging thing. I'm going to keep enjoying my toast for the next few minutes because I'm starved after that. I'll have as a protein bar before my last appointment.
Well, I can cook. That's a good thing. At least I get a break from a protein bar and toast, which is what I had earlier today. So a feed of spaghetti and a piece of garlic bread is going to be perfect right now, I'd say. Good morning. Made it through another night. When I last uh, recorded yesterday, from that point on, uh, last night I was been a, I was in a very restless and agitated state. It was just uh, everything annoyed me, everything irritated me, and when I get in those moods, the dog, who I adore, becomes my target of frustration and I don't like that but anyway I ended up settling down eventually I took my sleeping meds around 1030 took longer than usual for them to kick in last night but they finally did had very bad restless legs for about an hour before that as well so that definitely impacted my sleep not to mention I got shoulder injuries and my back hurts and elbow that kind of thing and when you're trying to contort your body into the right position to sleep that's comfortable it's frustrating at times so last night I even had dreams I don't usually dream very often I uh, since I started taking the cannabis oil the indica oil my nightmares have disappeared my dreams have disappeared as well but every now and then once every few weeks uh, the dreams they uh, they managed to get through and luckily it was a dream and not nightmares last night but it was uh, it was nice I enjoy dreams it's like being able to visit this fantasy world where you can do all these endless things that you can't even dream about or imagine back here on earth <laughs> anyway enough of that talk I'm gonna go finish my coffee
Well, I'm on a roll. I got one chore done. Now another one. I gotta do some dishes and then probably make some breakfast because I'm getting hungry right now. Well, that was a nice little walk. One thing I'm curious about is where all the ducks went. All the, uh, the brook froze over, so there's no ducks around today. My guess is they moved to the duck pond just down the trail a little ways. Anyway, I'm probably going to need another walk after this because in about 20 minutes I got my psychologist appointment, which I dread. I spend two days just all worked up over it. I don't know why, because she's pleasant to speak with and she's very supportive but I struggle with conversations and keeping the conversation going and um, yeah it turns out to be a very stressful hour for me and usually afterwards I'm totally spent so we'll see how today's go oh yeah and on a side note before I forget to say this I am absolutely extremely grateful to actually have a psychologist and a psychiatrist and a family doctor because I know so many people are stuck without one so I might be complaining about my sessions but it doesn't take away from the fact that I truly appreciate having this medical team supporting me right now Good morning. I made it to Thursday. Today is my ketamine treatment number six. Had a decent sleep last night. Slept pretty well. I don't know if that has anything to do with me being out on the deck for an hour or so. Having a nice little fire underneath the sun. Underneath the sun. Underneath the moon. It was uh, The moon was bright last night and the stars were out. It was a perfect night for it even though it was really cold. I think the wind chill was down around minus 20, somewhere around there, but I was bundled up. I was nice and comfy underneath my uh, jacket. Plus, I had the fire and a, and, a, and a joint or two while I was sitting there. So either way, I ended up sleeping pretty well. And uh, today I got my treatment, as I mentioned. But in about 15 minutes, I have my psychiatrist appointment. So I'm hoping that he's going to increase my dosage slightly because as a non-professional, as a patient, I feel like it's not enough. And whether or not he agrees, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see when the time comes. But in the meantime, I got 15 minutes to finish my breakfast here now. So I got to run. Cheers again. Well, I just finished my appointment with my psychiatrist he's the one that has been helping me through these ketamine treatments 
So it was a good discussion and I laid a few or I had a few anxieties laid to rest with this appointment so it was a good appointment. One of the major stressors I had was the fact that this isn't kicking in as fast as I assumed it should. Anyway he reassured me that it could take a month or more for some people so maybe I'm just uh, one of those people right. We also discuss uh, my future doses so basically I got another dose coming up in about an hour or less about an hour and after that next week I have two more doses but then what will happen is I will get one dose a week for about a month and those doses will be slightly stronger than what my current doses are so things will change uh, starting you know about two weeks roughly and one other thing that I was confused about and I keep reading it and I've heard it that in order for the ketamine to work you're supposed to be uh, you're supposed to I don't know transform into this disassociative state but apparently the benefits can still be there or will be there even without the uh, disassociation so that's a relief because I wasn't disassociating and that made me feel as if I was doing something wrong or maybe the dose wasn't right so overall yeah it was a good appointment I usually hate these appointments well I still hate them I can't stand them I hate leading up to them but it's nice when the appointment turns out to give you a little reassurance for the future so anyway I'm gonna go finish this coffee and uh, get ready for my next uh, ketamine session. Well, my transportation is there. They always show up 10 minutes early. It's almost like they're ex-military or something. Was it Rex? It's my ride. That means I gotta leave you. It does. Sorry. Craving a coffee again. Yay, another questionnaire done. First two nasal sprays are done. I'm going to hold off until I get the other two before I dig into my Tic Tacs. He's childproof. Yeah, got one. Well, I made it home after that sixth session. I think it was number six. Yeah, it was. That session actually went pretty well. I, uh, it set my mind at ease about a few things, which is good because my mind is never at ease and it's always looking for things to, uh, to stress and be concerned about. And right now, up to this point, one of my big concerns was my lack of progress but after talking to my psychiatrist earlier and the nurse practitioner who administers the ketamine I feel better I feel better about uh, where I'm headed right now for today's session I, instead of listening to EMDR on my calm app which is a uh, curated playlist of different uh, EMDR tracks I guess you could say but instead of uh, doing that this time I decided to uh, 
set up next to this nice tranquil lake where you could hear the sounds of birds and ducks and geese, loons, plus other animals, uh, all while I'm sitting in the chair in my recliner and relaxing. It was nice. It was a, it was a good, it was a good experience today. I enjoyed it. So for this week, I am going to end this video today on Thursday. I mean, really, what's the point of me recording myself over the weekend? Because right now it's just a wait and see what happens. And in addition to that, my wife is flying in tonight. I haven't seen her in a month. So most likely we're going to probably want to do our thing in the next day or two. So I'm just going to take a break from the filming, I think. Who knows, though? I maybe. Maybe I will sneak a few clips in, but in the meantime, the next time you see me, it won't be in this format, I don't think. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching so far, and uh, I'm sure you'll see me very soon again, uh, either with my drone, fingers crossed, or maybe making another ketamine video. Time shall tell. But until then, have yourselves an awesome time, and I hope you guys are healthy and doing well. It's, uh, that's important. Take care.